The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. This guy is ready for a fight. on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. The champ certainly has his hands full here tonight, but he looks more than ready. Introducing the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. And introducing the champion from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 219 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The King. Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. The Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers. The likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. Well, certainly has a history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. Known to put superstars on the map. All facts that these men know very well. And misses on the springboard. Oh no, I think we're gonna see the electric chair. Oh, oh. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Stop after stop after stop, jeez. Ooh, he caught him right in the face. Yeah. And he had Riddle scouted. Yeah. Ooh, well measured. Riddle left him high and dry. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Jumping knee strike. I like that. Shifts it back onto him. Stop in the leg. Headed to the top rope. He steers clear of contact. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. Oh, a nasty stop. 
to finish it off. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. A bad place to be for the challenger. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of it is really showing now. Strikes! Wow! What a counter by Riddle! Ah, uh, heel hook! Look at this! Oh, that's so painful! It's hard to watch, too! Oh, the kid finds it! Ah, stop! Riddle up high! Up high! Nice scoop slam! He's heading up top. Thinking big. Blast off. He paid for that one. Oh, man. Big time. Oh, my. What elevation. Locked in on the shoulder. Oh, oh man. Stepping things up a little bit there. Yeah. Superstar in the build. Here and he's getting absolutely stopped in his tracks. Yeah. Hit the ropes. <laughs> Running knee lift. The challenger being outclassed here. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. For the championship! The champion with a quick shoulder up. Wow, I thought this was over. Yeah. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. This is what you call high risk, high reward. At the top. And nobody's there. Wait to steer clear. a perfectly placed target.
<laughs> Are you guys ready? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 219 pounds, the King. We're seeing an athlete who was a top player on the football field until he reached the pros. He just couldn't catch his big break. He came here because the fire to compete still burned. And WWE became his passion the moment he stepped through the ropes. coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone looking to take his head off? All I can say is we've seen adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. And all that said, we might need to prepare to witness a massacre because all hail the king, all hail his majesty, King Corbin, here to lay down the law and uphold the sanctity of his kingdom. Oh, oh, oh. I'll just say he better be up for the challenge because he won't be treated like a king. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Nasty stop to finish it off. And Corbin can't find a way off the blocks. Corbin might just be waiting for an opportune time. And Corbin with a counter. From way up. Steer clear of that. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Look at this. Incredible. German suplex. Hit the ropes. Oh, running knee strike. Dang. He's absorbing some tough hits now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. He went right into that turnbuckle. On the second row, corner in Zaguri. And Corbin is being handled here. The gold glover needs to start reacting quicker. He reverses it. Corbin finally creates some more offense for himself. If Corbin was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Kick. And a kick to the back. Great 
Counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. To the sky. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Corbin dodges that one. Look out. Jump on. No way. Astounding power. Uh, I can't believe what we just saw. Corbin did a great job to pull that maneuver off, but somehow it just wasn't enough, and now Corbin has a lot to think about. <laughs> He's positioning himself, closing in. Oh, a spear! Oh, get up, Corbin. Looking for the victory! Two count! What a kick out at two. Want to hear anybody doubting the courage of Baron Corbin after witnessing what we just saw? Well, your opponent can hang after all that. You're wondering if running a win might just be impossible. And Corbin may have felt that coming. He's able to sidestep there. Uh oh. Oh, he retaliates. Here's a combo of strikes. Knee right to the face. Spear. Is it enough to secure the victory? Is it enough? The He has got the victory. Here is your winner, the King. He really got the better of the opposition here. I agree, it was quite the display tonight. Oh, I hate to say it, but Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. the arrival of the newest addition to Monday nights. GM Mandy Rose and the WWE Universe are lucky to have this superstar on Monday Night Raw. I know he's accomplished a lot in other places, but let's see how he does here on the red brand. Then we'll talk. It's no secret that I have a soft spot for the more mean-spirited competitors on the roster. It's actually my birthday next week. As a special treat, wondering if you could take out one of Raw's more honorable superstars in a no-DQ match? I swear I won't tell anyone it's for me.